Hi, today we are going to tackle a great topic that we get asked about on a daily basis, how to accurately measure your dog for an Alpine Outfitters X-Back harness. By the end of this video, you will know how to measure your dog to ensure that you receive a harness that fits your dog like a glove, and you'll understand what the measurements mean. We will also show you a great way to double check your measurements to ensure the best possible fit for your dog. So looking at our measuring guide, it seems like measuring your dog sounds pretty simple, right? Well, then you bring a wiggly and uncooperative dog into the mix. We understand the process can be somewhat daunting and frustrating. We are going to make measuring as simple as possible for you and take away all the mystery behind the numbers. You need to measure your dog for both the custom X-Back harness as well as our in-stock harness to ensure a great fit. Our X-Back harnesses are not adjustable, so measuring is critical. You will find a link to our measuring guide on both the custom X-Back page as well as the in-stock X-Back page on our website, and I have also added a link in the description below. Please refer to this guide now if you are following along and about to measure your dog. The supplies you will need are a soft tape measure and a pen and paper. If you don't have a soft tape measure, you will really want to purchase one at your local craft store or even at your local drug store before proceeding. Unfortunately, a carpenter's type metal tape measure is too stiff to accurately measure your dog. Although I have seen people have some success using twine or a thick string and then measuring out the lengths that they get. Before you measure, take a good look at a side shot picture of a dog in harness on our website. Here is a picture for reference. When you measure your dog, you will basically be drawing the harness on your dog. The measurements you provide to us will be how the custom harness is constructed and the measurements will correspond exactly to how you measure. Before we begin, it is very important for your dog to be standing during the measuring process as squarely as possible. If necessary, ask a friend to help you and treats work great. By the way, if you are finding this video helpful, please give a big thumbs up and share with your friends. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell so you won't miss a single episode. We will continue to post informational videos and also show you a little bit about who we are and what we do behind the scenes. We also want to add your videos and photos to the end of our videos. Link them in the comments below and also let us know the types of videos you would like to see in the future. The first measurement you will be taking is the A to C measurement, which is the half neck measurement of your dog. The neck measurement is the most critical of the three measurements you will be taking. The bottom of the neck of the harness needs to rest on your dog's breastbone, and we don't want the neck of the harness to be too big or too small for your dog. To measure the half neck measurement, start at your dog's breastbone, which is the bone that juts out on his chest. Place the end of your tape measure on the breastbone and then follow the line of where the harness will lay on your dog, um, looking at a side shot photo if necessary. Measure up to where your dog's shoulder blades are and draw the tape snug, not too tight or too loose. We do get asked about the dog's fur a lot. And although you don't want to ignore your dog's coat entirely, think about the compression that will occur when the harness is on your dog and measure accordingly. Now, let's double check the neck measurement to ensure a great fit. Say you got 11 inches for the half neck measurement. You want to double this to the full neck measurement, which will be 22 inches. Then make a circle with your soft tape measure at the full neck measurement. This opening will be the exact opening of the neck of the harness if you order a 22 inch neck. Slip this loop over your dog's head and see how the neck fits on your dog. It should be able to sit on the breastbone and reach the top of the shoulder blades, again, not too loosely or too tightly. Make the necessary adjustments and the neck measurement is complete. Now let's determine the length of the harness, starting with the number two measurement, A to C. 
first, refer to a side shot picture of a dog in harness on our website again and think about drawing the harness on your dog using the tape measure. Now find your dog's last rib and looking at a side shot picture, the point where the harness will rest on it. Here is a photo of a dog's anatomy to help you locate the last rib. Remember where that point is and you can even put a piece of masking tape on that point if it makes it easier for you. You want to start the tape measure at the breastbone and drop under your dog's leg, then follow the line where the harness will go. Draw the tape up gradually to the last rib point. This will be your A to C measurement. Again, remember to make sure your dog is standing squarely and enlist a helper if necessary. Lastly, let's determine the last measurement, which is going to run from the last rib point we determined earlier to the base of the tail. This measurement plus the last measurement we did added together will determine the complete length of your dog. To determine this measurement, just run your tape from point C where the last rib point is and continue to the base of your dog's tail. To double check the full length of your dog, again making sure he is standing squarely and referring to a side shot photo of a dog in harness um, for reference, run the tape from the breastbone under the leg and follow the same line as the picture. Continue all the way to the base of his tail. This full length measurement should equal the second measurement, the breastbone to the last rib, plus the third measurement, the last rib to the base of the tail. When you provide us with the measurements, it is greatly helpful if you also provide us with your dog's age, breed, and weight. That way, we can have an idea of what your dog's structure is like and size, and we will contact you if we have any questions. Also, if your dog is gaining or losing weight or needs to gain or lose weight, let us know so we can size accordingly. If your dog is a puppy, let us know if you want us to size the harness for future growth or if you want us to use the current measurements as is. An interesting fact is that length is a relative number, as length is also taken up by the size of the dog's girth, meaning a wider girth will take up overall length. So a long and thin dog's length may be actually the same as a shorter backed dog that is rounder. I hope that makes sense. So I know this has been a really long video. During this last bit of information I'm going to discuss, I'll share some bloopers with you to show you that we completely understand just how easy it is to measure dogs for harnesses. So if you order an in-stock x back and have a question about which size to get. Make your best guess selection and provide us with as much information about your dog as you can. We will then be able to determine the best size for your dog. Another common question is what the numbers mean on our in-stock x -backs. The first measurement is the full neck measurement. The second number is the full length measurement for your dog, which are both length measurements added together and the third measurement is the A to C measurement or the breastbone to the last rib measurement. As always, we welcome your questions, so never hesitate to email or call us. Our only goal is to make sure your dogs have the very best fitting harnesses that are comfortable for them. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.